My name is uh, Taiwo Adewale. I'm from uh, Oyo State in Nigeria. The business started uh, like three years ago. The name of our business is Definitely. We sell fabrics, any kind of fabrics like Ankara, chiffon, and crepe and some other stuff. We equally design them as well and we ship them all over the world. The name Divinity was chosen because uh, God really gave the inspiration to my wife and uh, she exerts on it. And uh, from the word divine is anything that has, been, that has been instructed from God. That's why we choose the name. We are source people, but presently now we have uh, like uh, four people working with me. But when we have more others, I have source designers to come and work with me. Sometimes in January, I work with like, um, like eight people, but I know we can still do better. We have source them because we have a lot of jobs on our hands that we need to deliver. Yeah, my country is a country of over 200 million people with rich cultural heritage. It's, I love my country because you can succeed at any level when you know what you are doing. My favorite dish food is egusi and, uh, and amala. I like any gospel music, like Tokwe Alabi and Yenkala um, Shiori. My favorite hero is Roger Federer, a tennis legend. There are a lot of challenges when someone is starting up a business or maybe you are teaming up. You are. The major challenge is the financial constraints. And the, another thing is the, the availability of the fabrics. Because the fabrics, they are in, in vogue. At a certain point in time, you may have the fabrics now and before you know it, within the next few seconds, it may not be available again. So, and the logistic from moving from this uh, particular location to uh, to Lagos and some other things is another challenge as well. But we thank God, uh, as far as the business is concerned, when we continue to master the act of neutralizing any challenges that comes the way. E-commerce has been part of my business because it has helped a lot. Without e-commerce, I, I wouldn't have had customers all over the world. Because if e-commerce doesn't exist, I wouldn't have joined Africa. And joining, like I said earlier, joining Africa is the turning point of our fashion business. Because they made it, they created a platform for us that make us to be able to showcase our products all over the world. Even to the level these days, people call me from US, from France, they send message to me that I want this, even without advertising. So and that's the level of the influence the e-commerce has. Anka has really made it possible for custom related issues to be resolved. And I don't need to worry myself as much, in as much whether the seller or the buyer has uh, agreed to pay the, the token custom fees. Anka has helped in the reduction of the fees because if you don't use Anka, you are going to spend more money and you are going to be faced with the challenges of having to clear your product in case when there is issue with custom. So Anka solved that and it makes it very easy. I have uh, accounts with other this and other e-commerce businesses, but the customer service of Africa is exceptional. The monthly subscription is cheaper compared to others. The uh, boosting the boost pack that you are going to use is cheaper compared to other e-commerce platforms that you will be. They will ask you to subscribe higher money. To make DHL a great partner to ship with. It's because of uh, their professionalism, their reduced rate for Africa sellers. And when you have a reduced rate, definitely you are not going to lose money on shipping. And likewise, your customers, when you want to ship products for them, they are going to pay reduced rates. So that makes it very wonderful. Shipping with DHL on Africa is very easy. Because I remember when I started with Africa, practically I did it with ease. Nobody to taught me on how to purchase a label. 
I see the business moving, uh, expanding, getting uh, branches, locations all over the country and internationally. I aspire to grow bigger than this because we still need assistance, we still need to develop more than this. But I want to believe when we keep on trying, we get to our destination. I wish to have a big fashion house that even the says, as we are driving says internationally, we'll be driving says locally. I really want to be at the level, the, one of the top three designers in this country. I want to appreciate Africa for their support in the, over the year that I've joined the Africa. They are wonderful people. All that I know in the first two months, especially through customer service, they taught me. I really appreciate for transforming my life because of the fact that without Africa, I don't think I can be on the level I am now. Though, even though I aspire to get bigger because I have a big dream. So I want to thank uh, Mr. Milaye, Kodri, Jessica, Ailan, Janice, um, a lot of other that I don't remember that, even Locke. So I know a lot of people. I want to thank them all because they work together as a team. They render excellent service. They give hope those, to those that seems they don't have hope. And I really want to appreciate them. And I'm highly honored for Africa team to come to our remote area. So it's a great honor and I will always live to remember it. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate it.